Hi everyone. I hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in the hospital. I want to tell you a little story about Sarah and Brad Henry's life. Yesterday, went to the doctor at like, I don't know, after school, and the doctor said our baby is still too small, and if we, <clears throat> the baby didn't grow, then we would have to have a C-section in a couple of weeks. Well, that was enough for us to be a little bit, you know, concerned. So we went out with friends that night to a dinner that was pre-planned. Sitting in the middle of this Korean traditional restaurant, my friend Lisa turned to me and said, Sarah, I can't think about you in a car without thinking about you peeing yourself. As soon as she said the word pee, water <laughs> started to just flow. <laughs> and I thought to myself, am I peeing myself right now? Is this legit happening in the middle of a restaurant? But I couldn't stop and water, this is so gross, I'm sorry, but water just flowed onto the floor. My, I was soaked like to my waistband. It was like the most intense, weird, detached feeling. It was like I couldn't do anything to stop it. And then I turned to my friend and I said, I think my water just broke. And of course she said, what? <laughs> and then turned to the rest of my friends at the table, including Brad, who wasn't part of this conversation and said, my water just broke. <laughs> and everyone in the restaurant like- Although we weren't smiling as much as we are now. No, I was like, I didn't know what to feel. I was like in shock and didn't know, I just didn't know how to react. So of course I cried and smiled and laughed and I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> but the lady at the restaurant was like, <laughs> which means like, I'm pregnant, but water came out. <laughs> She was like, it's okay, it's okay, and called me an ambulance. And so an ambulance took me from downtown and brought me here to the hospital. Needless to say, we will be having this baby sooner rather than later. And we are in good spirits, right, honey? Are you in good spirits? Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. And this is my Korean breakfast, hospital breakfast. Rice, eggs, soybeans, radish, and kimchi. And this is fish soup, which I will not be eating. Because I have a choice, but I don't know if I can drink this yet. So we will keep you posted. Mom, dad, friends at home, I'm okay, I'm happy, I'm not freaking out, and I'm in really good hands here. So don't worry about me. I love you, Brad. You love your mom and dad. I love you, mom and dad. <laughs> and maybe next time we see you, we'll have a baby. Well, <clears throat> I just saw my doctor. It's only been like, what, 30 minutes since I last took a video, right, honey? Yeah. And um, he said that I am going to have a C-section today. <laughs> so, <laughs> mom and dad, I just wanted to document it and tell you what's going on. Um, and mom and dad, number two, uh, he said that the baby might be at risk for fever or what did he say breathing breathing or, or eating. eating so they if i have a c-section they're going to put the baby in intensive care probably and uh but but he'll be okay oh, oh this is a nutty experience man it's totally surreal Yesterday, my doctor was telling me I was going to come in in two weeks to have my baby, and that was shocking. And then I leave the hospital. And, <laughs> and, oh, my water breaks in a restaurant. Next thing I know, they're saying they're going to be taking the baby. But they gave us an option of either inducing labor or doing a C-section. And the doctor just said flatly, like, it's healthier for the baby to do a C-section, less stress and quicker and he's just a little bit worried about those kinds of things so they're right now they're coming up with the time for my c-section and <sighs> brad doesn't want to be on video right now because it's a little emotional to say the least but i am positive that god is in control and this all happened for a reason and if liam needs to come out now then he needs to come out now Right, Brad? Right. <laughs> and every time I laugh on this machine, show him this machine, it's like a, like, can you see how it's hooked up to my belly? <laughs>
And like every time I laugh, it like makes like a goblin noise. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Okay. Pray for us. Even though everyone that sees us, it'll already be over. <laughs> Retroactive prayer. So here we are. How do you feel? I'm a dad. So <laughs> Liam was just born like 25 minutes ago. Yeah. And mom and baby are healthy. Yeah. I'm, so glad. I'm gonna get to see them in like 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. <laughs> I can't wait to meet my son, see my wife, and give her a kiss. Aww. It's so surreal. This has been like the weirdest whirlwind morning of my life. We come in, I, I literally packed for two weeks of just hanging out at the hospital. We were talking about what TV show we wanted to watch on my laptop, and then <laughs> ten minutes later, they whisk her breakfast away from her, and the doctor comes in and says, you're going to have a C-section today. And we're thinking, okay, today, like eight hours from now. And then they come in again, they're like, your surgery is in five minutes. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in a surgery room right, signing Sarah's life away. And 20 minutes later, the doctor comes out, or no, 40 minutes later, comes out and says, I am a father. And I have a baby on the fifth floor that I still haven't met yet. And I'm kind of going insane right now. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so happy, though. I'm lucky to have my friends here yes. with me. Without friends, I would be a wreck. So, thank God for friends. Absolutely. So. And <laughs> cut. Yeah. <laughs> He's like secured away somewhere. It's so crazy. So, he, first of all, that was the weirdest experience. <laughs> you saw everything, right? No, I. Oh. They put like a thingy. Oh. Okay. But you were awake. Yeah, I was. Oh. Total, I'm totally awake. So. Okay. I think. I think I caught the moment. <laughs> I think I caught the moment. I think everyone was really shocked because the whole time I was laughing and you know. You were during the surgery. I'm recording right oh now. My gosh. <laughs> so was, your family can see. Yeah, I was like laughing and the doctors were laughing and and uh, I because I couldn't feel anything. So it was just so straight. It was like an out of body experience. And then he goes, Do you feel pressure? And I was like, Yeah, a little bit, you know. And then he goes, Liam's coming out. And I went, <gasps> Liam, I'm young. And they all started laughing. <laughs> but then so they then they took the baby out and I heard him crying. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so crazy to hear them cry. Yeah. So that made me cry, just hear them cry. Yeah. But then they just... Like red hair. Red really? hair? I don't know if it's because there was blood in his hair. Maybe. Probably. Mm -hmm. But he just had like this little teeny face and it was all squished up. Really? And he wasn't crying, he just looked like this. He <laughs> wasn't squished up. So cute. And then they just like rushed him away.